Good evening and welcome to Mum, McLoon on Maui. And uh, welcome to uh, another Monday night conference. Today we're up to seminar number 16. The date is June the 13th, 2011. So let's get going. Didn't she do this by circulating, smoozing in the industry and meeting business people and just pretending she was in the business? Right, yeah, she had to cover. To become an agent in the field, she had to go through this... Uh, technical training where they try to break you in a number of different ways. And she said like all the people that she was going through the program broke at some point and she never did and she was kind of proud of that fact that she didn't have a breaking point. When, when, the, when the government uh, uh, exposed her story and then uh, it ruined her, her operations, her credibility, and then they tried to spin it to make it look like she was a kook, and then and her husband couldn't hold down a job anymore and they were being their image that was created in the media was that they were you know flakes and, okay uh, did she crack under that yeah i mean because See, there's you know, the key at risk of losing her husband her family her livelihood mm -hmm. everything that she ever you know desired for and her confidence in her country which she had which she had faithfully served when you say she's patriotic and then she was shocked at, at the government releasing information about her and then uh, her image being smeared. That's the, what Gurdjieff would call your chief feature. That's your, uh, your TV body, your image. In other words, she believed in information. She believed that information was relevant, that it was part of security. And then that ground of information that the government's in charge of, as the word that makes the market, when she found out that was a ghetto, that would be a shock because you'd have to believe information meant something when she was doing her work as an information gatherer. So you get the five factors of fear. I think there's only four maybe. National myth making, yeah. collective phobia, cultural norm functioning, functioning, or individual sensation. So you had the psychopath, Dick Cheney, whose individual sensation desires altered the whole Android meme ground for the American empire. And she was working for protecting America for the higher good, but then she becomes, because the ratio shifts, she becomes expendable for the higher good. So what we have here is Bruce Powers, who apparently was an employee of the CIA, that's the rumor about Bruce Powers, and he wrote a book with McLuhan that wasn't published while McLuhan was alive. It wasn't published till 89. And the, the background story to that book is that he wanted to release the book, but it had, um, it would be the first publication of Tetraz he did with McLuhan. And uh, the McLuhan estate objected to the book being released uh, in 88 because Laws of Media was coming out that year and that would be the official revelation of the Tetraz. The big announcement of Tetraz, it had to be uh, done by Marshall himself or Eric. What Eric says at the forward to Laws of Media is that they were looking at the laws and they said, okay, we got reversal and extension of uh, media in understanding media. We've got obsolescence in, uh, I guess, war and peace in the global village. They were looking for another law and they realized it was retrieval. And that was spelled out in the book from Cliche Archetype. So there are four factors that are in previous books and then get crystallized into the Tetrad, which Marshall started circulating around 74. I think they announced it in uh, Technology and Culture magazine in 74. So there it is, the Tetrad, but it doesn't become public, published in public uh, property until 14 years later in 1988. Now, the, the, the cliche becoming, the alteration between cliche and archetype would be a speed-up process that I call the holiopathic. So that's, that's a Dobbs thing to think that the interplay between cliché and, and archetype uh, obsolescence of tetrad. Like you could think of the pentad does the cliché archetype. And that's why I have it, I have consciousness in the Croker quadrant on my chart because Croker is talking about the Android meme and the Android meme is the issue of consciousness and McLuhan or more, Barry Nevitt said that the interplay between cliche and archetype is the essence of consciousness. 